Okay, uh, what I want to do is uh, show you the Celtronics uh, FS600A I have on eBay. So, show you how it works. It's got four scales. It's got a 20 watt scale, a 200 watt scale, a 500 watt scale, and a 1000 watt scale. Selectable by this switch. So it goes down to 20 watts, 200 watts, which is good for uh, barefoot operation off your uh, any amateur radio. Uh, if you're going down to CB, uh, 20 watts. And if you're going above and use a linear, a lot of times uh, you have a linear, uh, it doesn't go over 500 watts. You don't want to push all you want to out, like 1,000 watt scale, which would be the legal limit. Uh, and uh, you just want to go 500 watts to see what it does and you got a thousand watts so if you take a look at the scale here you got 0 to 20 0 to 200 0 to 500 and 0 to 1000 okay you've got two scales or two switches over here uh, you got AM and you got single sideband this is more like a, a peak and an average. Sideband is an average switch. Uh, AM is more of a peak. I'll demonstrate that here on my uh, transceiver in a second for you. You got your forward, which is your forward gain, and which is your reflective, which you push it down here for your reflective gain. Okay, very nice uh, meter. Uh, Celtronics uh, goes from 3.5 to 300, uh, 30 megahertz. 3.5 to 30 megahertz. Okay. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate uh, this uh, meter, how it works. I've got my radio tuned up on a low frequency. I mean, uh, 14.267. It's a Kentwood 4, uh, 820S, and I've got my meter here set on the 20 scale 200 scale and I'll move up on up as we go through here uh, set on the 20 scale I'm gonna flip my transceiver on and adjust it for 10 watts so I'm gonna move it over to 10 watts and there is 10 watts okay now I'll flip my switch up to the 200 mark I'll flip my uh, meter back on and the 10 this is two, 200 watt scale now the meter should go to about that area right here and I'll flip my transmitter back on okay approximately very low on the scale now you're going to remember and it is about 10 watts output right there I'm going to bring my transmitter up to 100 watts which would be right here this is nice because you can go from 0 to 20, tune your antenna tuner up or your antenna on very low wattage, and then what you can do is that you flip this in and it goes to 200 watts, I'm a, and this is a 100 watt scale right here. So if you're running barefoot, or I'm using some C, uh, CB lingo here, uh, you can go from 200, 20 watts and 200 watts on this lower scale. Now, if you're running a linear or an amplifier, you got 500 and 1,000. And what makes this meter nice is that you can use it with a linear. Okay, so uh, straight uh, transmitter, 0 to 20, 0 to 200. Okay, well, I'll demonstrate that. I'm going to turn this radio all the way up to 100 watts. It'll go a little bit past 100 watts. I can do demonstrate that also. So here we, here we go. We're going to tune it up, I'm going to take it and put it into CW mode and it goes past to 100 I don't want to drive it too hard and I can put it on, this scale is pretty accurate, I can put it on 90 and drive it at 90 or just a little bit below 100 I want to drive it a little bit below 100 so there's, I'm going to put it right there at 100 okay, flip it off Okay, we're back again. I'm going to demonstrate the difference between uh, the uh, single sideband and the AM. 
We'll put this up in single sideband and wow, look at that light come on. So when the light's on, light up here, the little neon light, when it's on, you're in single sideband mode. This is driven by 110 volts, so it does have a, a line cord that plugs in. It's driven by 110 volts. No nuisance with batteries or anything else. Now I'm going to transmit out now uh, across and you can see it come up. KE5 TXD, this is Kilo Echo 5 Tango X-Ray Delta. Kilo Echo 5 Tango X-Ray Delta. CQ, CQ, 20 meters. CQ, CQ, 20 meters. This is Kilo Echo 5 Tango X-Ray Delta. Okay, what you can see there, that when it came up, it shows a peak reading. So uh, it's going to show you the peak. Uh, how much wattage you're getting out in your um, with your speech okay now I'm going to try it on AM and you can see the difference they go to instead of average it will go to peak then this is KE5 TXD Kilo Echo 5 Tango X-Ray Delta Kilo Echo 5 Tango X-Ray Delta calling CQ 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 this is without any compression level. This is with compression level. And you can see the peak reading on the, uh, the uh, meter here now. Okay. CQ, CQ, CQ. Okay, that was the, a demonstration of the, of the difference between single sideband and the AM signal. And of course the the other signal is the CW signal, and that's what you set it at, and that is the CW signal, which is in the forward direction. All right, the reverse direction, let me flip it on the reverse direction, and there, the, it, this antenna to transmitter is matched. There's very hardly any um, deflection. I'll mismatch it a little bit so you can see that this is correct. Okay, there it is there, it goes back down, it goes back up, I set it. Okay, so this thing is very accurate for its age. Very nice piece of test equipment, uh, still usable today. If you've got a Centronics collection, great. Really, really nice piece of equipment, okay? Okay, I'm going up to the 500 watt scale now. It was set at 100. I'm going into CW mode and I'm going to press transmit. And I better take it and put it in a forward direction. And I put transmit and you can see that it is on the 500. It's off just by a little bit. Let me I'll put it on the 100, 200. Up a little bit. It's a little over 100. Flip it over on the other side, All right. and it's fairly accurate, okay, on the 500 watt scale, okay?